have here today is a uh, oil pump for a 59. And it's just uh, John wanted to have a spare for whatever reason. And I don't think we covered actually the rebuilding of the oil pump when we did our engine. I think I just pulled one out that I had done previously. So I'm gonna show you how to do it today. So this here is the uh, parts kit that you can get from Caddy Daddy for rebuilding your oil pump. We have them for uh, several different years. The lock washers are not included in the kit. You'll have to provide those for yourself. So what you get is a new uh, driven gear, new idler gear, pressure regulator spring, pressure regulator plunger, the cotter pin, and a new gasket for the uh, oil pump mates to the uh, rear main bearing housing. So the first step is we're going to take this oil pump apart. It's already been sort of degreased. The uh, pickup's been removed. It was in real bad shape. Um, you can actually see some pitting there around the edge where it was. It looked like it sat in some water. Once we get the cover off, you're the one to inspect it. This has some surface rust on it should clean up fine we will pull out the idler gear it's pretty well rusted up housing feels smooth on that side now this side here we have the collar that um, lines up the drive shaft and by the way if you're pulling this out of your car you're underneath and you're removing this to service it Remember you got the drive shaft that's going to be up in the block, but nothing retains it in the block. And so be sure you pull it out before it falls out and hits you on the head or puts your eye out or something. It's something a lot of guys forget. You'll want to note that there is about an eighth of an inch between the collar and the, and the housing. So what we're going to have to do is use our press to press this out. You'll see that if it, the collar will bottom out on the housing. So we'll put this in our press, supporting the, the housing around here. So here we are at the press. I got this old bolt to use to press on the shaft. This is lined up. You can see there where it hits on the gear. So we got plenty of clearance. Be ready to catch it underneath. So it doesn't fall down and get you. There's our driven gear and our sleeve and the housing now we need to get and remove the old uh, pressure regulator spring and plunger so now we're going to remove this uh, cotter pin here now the um, pressure regulator is retained by a spring uh, so we'll get in there and get these straightened up cut off put your finger over the end to hold the spring your spring and the retainer and up in there a ways stuck in caked up oil is the plunger which can be a little bit of a challenge to get out I'm going to get a piece of wire and see if I can push it out from the insides so we got the uh, all the parts here cleaned up housings all cleaned uh, scotch brighted over it oh, got some discoloration got the old uh, pressure regulator out uh, you can get in there with a, right down there, you can get in here with something like this hook and push it and try to get it out. Something, this one was stuck real bad, took a little bit of effort, but this water, uh, this oil pump had not been in service. It had come out of a, a scrap engine and looked like it had some water in it. So if your oil pump's coming out of an engine that, w that was running, you should have no trouble getting any of this stuff apart. This one was a little bit stubborn. So, what we need to do is take and make a trial fit here of that gear. So we're going to check the, um, the clearance between the gear and the housing. Should not be greater than six thousandths. I got a six thousandths feeler. And that looks good. And now we're going to check between the cover. We don't want to see excessive clearance there. It's also six thousandths. And, we all, and we're going to check to make sure that we are 
you probably can't see too good with the camera, but to make sure that we have clearance. And from my eye, it looks like we have, we have about 2,000s clearance. Not much, but that's good. You want the clearance around the end of the gear is what keeps the oil from leaking around as it's building pressure. So we can pull that one out. Push this one in. Also check it against the housing. Good. This one here, you can check for in play. You can hear the in play. I push down on that. I can't get the feeler, so the in play, the in clearance is okay. We'll drop the this gear in. We're looking for backlash. Should be between eight and twelve. And the eight. I just get the eight in, so backlash is good. Okay, now that we've checked our clearances, we're gonna go ahead and take the, the gears out and we're gonna lubricate everything up. Um, it's important that, the, that the, everything, the teeth of the gears are lubed, everything's lubed well, and that'll help you build oil pressure when you, when you put put this in the car and first, you know, if you're running a, um, a priming tool, it really helps if this is wet with grease inside to help you initially suck some oil up because the little the oil film on everything is kind of acts as a, as a seal in here around all the moving parts since the clearances are good we're going to take all the parts out lube them up assemble this put the cover on then we'll put the regulator in so now we're going to take and um, use some of our um it's just some general purpose grease get in here and lubricate everything well Another thing that works good for this that breaks up real easy with uh, motor oil is petroleum jelly. This is how you rebuild any oil pump. It's this process here. All cars, it's all the same. Just different clearances possibly. So we got everything lubricated up. Uh, got the cover ready to go. You'll notice there's one side of the cover has a little hump on it. It goes right there by the driven gear. And this one, this cover's got a little staining on it from sitting. So we line those up like that. Use new lock washers. Uh, they don't come in the kit, but you probably got some laying around your garage or get them at the hardware store. They're, they're just little quarter 20 bolts, so quarter inch lock washers. Now these have a, a torque setting that you want to pay attention to. And it's 40 to 45 inch pounds not foot pounds inch pounds 40 to 45 so we got our torque wrench here we're gonna go to 40 and i'll go two and a half lock it down and you want to kind of tighten these in the same sort of pattern like you'd be tightening lug nuts or something stagger them i'm just going to initially snug them up here. I'm not torquing right now. Just compressing the lock washer. So now we'll torque them. You can see I'm not putting much effort on that. These don't get put very tight. I don't want the, anything to get warped. Nice and 
tight. You can, you can hear it trying to pump. Now we will assemble the regulator. You have the piston. Make sure the spring finds its way down into the piston. You'll probably find this new spring is a lot stiffer than the old one that you took out. The old one's worn and causing your oil pressure to drop. There we go. So there you have the piston, the spring, the little retainer, the cups, the retainer's cup shaped and that goes towards the spring to cup the spring. And now we got the, the, the cotter pin in. And we can bend this over. Give that a quick wrap like that. So that's retained. One last thing to do is to uh, press this sleeve back on. And when, before we go to the press, just remind you that when this gets bolted up to the rear main bearing, that's going to be, uh, the mount is 25 to 30 foot pounds for those mounting screws with your uh, gasket in between. So I've got the unit here in the press. I have the backed up on the plate uh, because we've talked about when we're pushing, we're pushing against the uh, shaft with the gear on it, which is pushing against the cover which is backed up with this ring. This isn't applying a lot of force to put this in. It doesn't take much. So, and you see the amount of force we're applying is not even registering on our pressure gauge. So we want about an eighth of an inch between the sleeve and the housing. Now that we got the sleeve pressed on, stick screwdriver in here, turn it, everything's turning nice and free. The shaft is tight in the housing, we got everything put back together. Rebuilt 1959 oil pump. The process I just showed you applies to just about every oil pump for just about every car. Now, sometimes they might be mounted external, sometimes they're mounted internal, but the whole thing of checking your clearances whatever applies for, for the make and model you're working on. And if you have a Cadillac that needs to have its oil pump rebuilt, click on the link in the description below and order up the parts from Caddy Daddy. Fine Village is a great organization that gives back to the community. Check it out. You'll see so as well. Thanks for watching. Hi, my name is Sonnen Kirsten. We're here at the 2018 Vine Village Celebration, our major fundraiser here that helps fund programs that we run for people with developmental disabilities here in the greater Napa community. Vine Village was founded by my family and another family, each who had children with disabilities in 1972. And we depend on donations from all sorts of foundations and individuals and businesses throughout our community to help fund these programs and this is our biggest fundraiser of the year. You can donate by clicking the link in the video description.